What's an American issue you are too European to understand? Obligatory I am an American but work remotely for a European country. My European colleagues cannot wrap their heads around the fact that I, most Americans, do not have employment contracts. Recently, I had a conversation with a colleague and I could see her visibly glitch after she made a comment about something being in my employment contract and I told her that I don't have one. Edit. This kind of blew up overnight, for me. Let me explain a bit. I was originally hired by our US office. I interviewed and was eventually offered the job verbally. The company then sent me an offer letter that outlined starting salary, number of vacation days, 10 days, another thing that surprised my EU colleagues, and basic benefits. We negotiated, finalized numbers, salary, and I got a revised letter. Through a number of circumstances, I was transferred to our home office in Europe. My manager is there, my team is there, etc. And I work remotely from the US. Over the years, I've negotiated raises and more vacation time through my managers and our CEO, but don't have a contract. The offer letter is not a contract. In the US, most of us are employees at will, which means that we can be terminated at any time, as long as it's not a discriminatory reason. On the flip side, we can quit whenever we want, though it's traditional, to give at least a two weeks notice. Edit 2. The employees at will concept only applies to non-union and others who do not have contracts. ISP actually having data caps on wired connections in 2019. It's only in some states, but why does the cap do exist to begin with? We existed without it perfectly fine beforehand, and now we need one. Bullshit. It's just another way for Comcast to milk more money out of the consumer. Edit. I appreciate all of the replies and upvotes. Unfortunately, I cannot reply to everyone. I'll be upvoting the replies that make sense or amuse me, since I can't reply to all of you. Why are you incapable of building bathroom stalls without a 5 cm gap in it? For everyone asking what 5 cm is, it is roughly 2 inches or 0.166667 feet in your fantastic way of measuring things. Sticking stuff into laws that have nothing to do with law itself. You'd have law on traffic safety and somebody would stick in passage. Rider, I believe they are called, that prohibits abortion without consent of the father. I mean, how can you even stick a clause that has nothing to do with actual topic? Your bathrooms. What idiot thought it was okay to have very small doors with gaps on all sides in every stall? How are you supposed to quietly poop and stink and fart without everyone seeing you? I can understand why you are so afraid of unisex bathrooms. Black Friday. Every time I see a video about it, I cringe. The behavior depicted is always utterly disgusting and so unbelievably primal. Over here, we have a prolonged period where extreme sales are allowed. And even though there's more shoppers than normal, I can't recall people being desperate for a stupid discounted item. Edit. A lot of very decent responses here. Thank you. I'm very happy to see this is completely overblown and that I was wrong for a big portion of it. That being said, it seems like media is a big problem, I should have known. I've been to several Black Fridays in a ton of big stores and I've never seen anything close to what videos show. I also live in the Midwest and people are really antisocial here. I went to Walmart last time and I saw a max of maybe 20 people. Lunch debt? Why is that a thing? Why are the children being held accountable and unable graduate? It a goddamn lunch. Why do you pay the taxes yourself? It's way easier to have it done for you by your state slash country since you have to pay anyway. Showing prices before tax like my dudes, it looks cheaper, but IT ain't edgy mang edgy. I'm Canadian and when I visited Europe, one of my first purchases was like 4.99 and when the cashier scanned it and said, that comes to 4.99, I was like surprised Pikachu face wait what? I hated that tax being added to everything you had no idea how much anything cost. I remember grabbing a drink in a shop was just under dollar two, going up to pay with what I thought was the correct amount, and it was some stupid amount like dollar 2.06. Instead of paying my dollar two and leaving the change, I didn't have coins so paid with a dollar twenty instead. If it costs that amount, just tell me the final price on the shelf, rather than everything being a mystery price. Anything that happens in high school really edit. 
Geez, I'm getting a lot of replies, I'd like to respond to them all and discuss some more, but I don't really have that much time, sorry. The lack of paid maternity leave. The thought of having to hand my children to strangers and go back to work weeks after giving birth. Nobody seems enraged about what that must do to babies and mothers. <laughs>